Coming from the Squash Blossom in Vail, I have two lovely ladies and a lot of really cool, unique, nature-inspired jewelry. Joining me now, I have Amy Logan, who works at the Squash Blossom, and Sarah Graham, who's the jewelry designer. Ladies, thanks for coming in this morning. Thanks for having us. Sarah, thanks for letting me wear this necklace. It's good on you. Amy, you're donning some of her work as well. How'd you find this jewelry maker? Um, we've been carrying Sarah's jewelry for over 15 years, mm -hmm. and we've really um, enjoyed seeing how her collection has evolved over time, um, her use of unique materials and her inspiration of um, natural um, beauty has been a really wonderful um, addition to our store. That's what you like there at Squash Blossom and always unique items mm -hmm. there as well so it's really fun. Now Sarah you just moved here from San Francisco. I did. Welcome to town. Thank you. Do you like it so far? What's not to like? I I <laughs> can't think of very many things but um, it's so fun to live here and you're inspired by nature so is that one of the reasons why you moved out here? Absolutely yeah it's um, I mean all the normal reasons that everyone all you all are here. Because you ski too right? We're big skiers. Okay. Okay, yeah. all right. Let's but check most in. of all, just kind of having the space and um, time to design. Mm -hmm. You know, San Francisco is a really fun place to live, but I was kind of lacking the space and time to really be creative. And ever since I've gotten here, just in two months, we've already done a new collection. So it's been amazing. Is your new collection the Aspen collection? It is. Okay. Because the necklace you have on is so cool, and it looks like a little Aspen tree hanging, yes, dangling yes, down yeah. there. Yeah, it's not only. The texture of the aspen tree, but they've got the holes that kind of mimic the way the pe the bark peels away mm -hmm. from the aspen tree, and you see the darkness underneath, which is represented by the cobalt chrome, which is one of our unique materials. So. Okay, and I noticed on my necklace there's like some black coloring mm -hmm. on it. What it, what kind of material is it's, that? Um, and this bracelet as yes, well. Yes, it's oxidized cobalt chrome, which is a material that's used in the medical industry, and I love it because it's this really matte, deep black finish. Um, which normally you could get from iron, but iron rust. So we found this, which is great because it has that matte finish um, that's really deep black, but yeah. will never rust. So. It will never rust. So you yes. really, so it's kind of low maintenance. Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. so low maintenance, nature inspired. I think you found the right place I to think live. So. <laughs> now you have her collection all the time, but today there's a trunks show, so there's a lot more. Yes, yeah, Sarah brought. Um, various collections that she's had over time as well as the new collection mm -hmm. so we have four cases of her jewelry well over 400 pieces oh, wow. maybe even more so yeah. that must be fun is it fun to set up trunk shows yeah it's yeah. a lot of work but it's so <laughs> exciting everyone gets so excited to see um, all the different pieces and we were so excited to see all of the new work Sarah's been doing as And well. so the new work is really the Aspen collection. Let's kind of dig into what we have actually sitting right here because there's a lot of unique stuff. I mean, that I feel like a little fairy should be like flying around <laughs> right there or something. Those rings are really neat. Yeah, the stacking rings are great. They're all individual and they're fun to because you can add on to them and um, any permutation of, you know, diamonds we've, or colored stones, you can do one, two, or three stones mm -hmm. per ring. They can represent families or just, you know, every single u uh, stack is unique. Okay, it's unique and fun. And then you had um, some nice stuff that's right here. I have, to, I have to look over to remind me what it is. But, yeah, that looks like, is it part of the Aspen collection as well? This is actually two necklaces here. One is a sea urchin collection. One of the things I like to do is show nature in ways that, we're normally not used to seeing. Mm -hmm. So sea urchins in the ocean actually have teeth that radiate towards the center and those teeth fall out mm -hmm. when we take a um, sea urchin out of the ocean. So I've created, recreated the center part and kept those teeth in. So it's almost like a little science lesson as yeah. well. Yeah, oh, that's cute. I didn't know that. It's like when you're eating your sushi, now we're gonna think totally <laughs> different. Yeah. But you have something for the for the nature lovers with water and for the nature lovers in the mountain. Absolutely. I like absolutely. that. Is that San Francisco inspired a little bit? Um, the sea urchin is actually many years ago when I was married, over 20 years ago, we spent some time in Italy on mm -hmm. the Amalfi Coast and we collected these sea urchin and then we kind of learned about the teeth. And so that was a couple years ago when I was sort of um, remembering that amazing trip yeah. that inspired the sea urchin oh, collection. Oh, I love, you know, one of the really fun things about having somebody in doing the trunk show is you get to hear those stories. So when you buy a piece of jewelry and you find out how the artist is inspired by it, that just kind of elevates your experience altogether. Amy, hoops over there. I love hoops. Are those in style? What, I mean, what are we seeing for earrings and what's like on trend right now? Uh, big earrings are back. Big earrings are back. Yeah, hoops, yes. hoops <laughs> never go out of style. I know, they're great. Um, really, Sarah makes hoops in all 
shapes and sizes. These are forward facing hoops, mm -hmm. so you know you really get to see the natural colored diamonds enhanced against the black material and also against the gold. Those are cute. Those are cute hoops too. So I like that you're kind of like hooping them all around, making them all different shapes and sizes. Mm -hmm. When do so you're open all day today, but the, but Sarah will be there at what time? Yeah, Sarah will be in the store. Our event this afternoon starts at one o'clock, okay. and we'll be open until nine o'clock. Sarah will be in the store till about six. Okay, so you're gonna get some runs in before you go to the store. Is that oh, the plan? I don't know. That's, I think I'll probably just go right to the store. So that's Ooh. what I'm here for. Yeah, exactly. Well, Sarah, welcome to town. Amy, thank you for coming in yeah. today. The Squash Blossom, you can find them in Vail. They've got a great trunk show going on today. So make sure you go check out all this unique artistic jewelry. Right now, we're gonna head up to Beaver Creek. Mark Sassy, Mark. There's a jewelry sale going on. You might have to get your lady something.